plan here. Oh, charge needles, okay. The thing that makes Kool-Aid just so... Oh, unknown, okay. Yeah. Unknown is from oh, New Jersey, I think. Is. New Jersey sheep. So this should I be like fun. It. Oh, bad. <laughs> Bouncing fish is a good move, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Now, see, the thing that makes Kool-Aid wow. so good is just the fact that he can play so good. Let's see, which one's which? Okay, so Laid is great flavor. Uh, unknown is American Chic. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, triple ooh. F tilt, forward throw, miss. Chic is sometimes hard to combo. She gets hit by a lot of things. She's very skinny, so spacing-wise, she can be very difficult to hit yeah. with a lot of combos. Late Nair can be punished on this field there. Unknown with a solid lead early on. Um, Kool-Aid is also a player who learns as you fight him very, very hard. Yeah. Uh, he's well known in this region. He will often like oh, wow. lose a game or almost lose a game to people who like you know he can beat, and then he'll just come back and obliterate them. That's that so adaptation. It's definitely you know definitely looking good for Unknown early on, but Kool-Aid constantly learning. Yeah. I guess it needles bouncing fish to get back onto stage. You don't see that much. That was cool. I mean, Needles are godlike, period. Needles are very good. Even when they got nerfed, they're still godlike. This is probably the worst incarnation of Needles. And it, like, and they've been nerfed, and they're still an amazing move. See, people don't like Sheik Needles because they're, like, boring, apparently. Oh, look, I think they're great. Look at these acrobatics. Like, y'all can pay to go to the circus to watch some acrobatics. Just watch Sheik Needles. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, good bouncing fish right there. If he loses, if he gets that 50-50 or that edge guard situation wrong, then that would be yeah. the first stock. And noticing how, notice how Unknown is air daring him a lot too. He killed him with Rapid Jab. Of course. And who, who says who, she can't exactly, kill? Rapid who, Jab at 175. Who says she can't kill? <laughs> Send them to me. I'll, I'll show them. Now Unknown on ledge here. It's where Kool-Aid really thrives, but Sheik is so good at getting out of that situation. Kind of negates everything, yeah. Good punish right there. Just outspaces it. Oh, good. Return Yo, 4%. Fire. No, that was a good return fire. Oh, yeah. The more important thing there is it gets him back on the stage. Oh the, oh, the clink! The clink! The forward smash not gonna help. I like Nair that. Nair punished I, on hit there. I really like that side switch right there coming out from unknown. That was super good. Kool Aid going for one of the many setups that you can refer to as the Kool Aid. Do it, do it. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, he was looking for like a melee gimp there, just like single needle over and over again. Yeah. Ledge drum. Unknown going for a jump dare off ledge. Dang. I really forgot how good Unknown is. Oh my god. He's very good. I, it would still be a bit of an upset if he beats Kool Aid, but certainly a very good player. Ooh, no, no. Oh, what, Going for late near bouncing what fish right there. Doing? With this much rage on a character as light as Sheik, it might have killed. He might die. Oh, tried to go for the up smash there, the diamond cutter, as I like to yep. call it. And we see here why the first stock is so important in Sheik Dittos, as Kool-Aid finally takes it, but he's down 80% here. Easy. And That's easy money. This is not one of those dittos where a percent lead is irrelevant. Like, yeah. you know, some dittos is like, oh, you can just blow your blow your other character up so yeah. much. Like, Sheik really has to work for it against herself. Because her combos are so good, but they're a little shaky on your other Sheiks sometimes. And Sheik yeah. has those options to get at her disadvantage, avoid being oppressed in the corner. The thing about but that Sheik being said, Kool-Aid is slowly bringing it back. Yeah, he is. The thing about Sheik Dittos, too, is that, like, whiff punishes are so key in this Exactly. Matchup. Like, if Sheik whiffs a forward air, you better you better hit it for it. And there you go. Unknown takes and the second stop. Fish. Look, look, look at Unknown's face. He's, like, you, inside. Totally neutral. He, no, he's neutral on the outside, but yeah. inside he's like, that's Kool-Aid. Yeah. This is Kool-Aid. I'm going to add some more sugar to this. Fourth throw. Goodness. Quick bouncing fish there. Bouncing fish is like on that weird borderline where it's oh, almost reactable. Oh, he dropped the shirt. Now you can see Kool-Aid in his full majesty. Kool-Aid is also one of the strongest people you will ever meet in your life. One for all, 100%, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> for those of you who didn't know, this is what Kool-Aid looks like. <laughs> um, all right, so we start with the mutual charge again. I assume we'll play this whole set on Smashville. Ooh, Start him okay. off with a fair grab bouncing fish there. No, nice actually, 25%. Actually, I said he's one for all. No, no, no. This is when Lee dropped the weights. <laughs> Naruto, where Guy Sensei was like, it's okay, Lee. You can take them yeah. all. <laughs> cool. It's like, really? All right, getting back on the stage. And he's switching to the Dark Sheik. The Dark oh, Sheik boy. rises. Oh, good juggles coming this up. Is, I think this is Kool Aid's usual color. I've seen this most of the time when I've played him. Yeah, that's true. Oh my gosh, just keeping him in disadvantage all, with all these buttons. I love it. This makes me want to play Sheik in Ultimate. Oh, it's just the fair string off the side. I thought he was going to go for a bouncing fish. Lay like, just goes for a straight up fair string. Dude, Kool Aid cradled him and said, We're going on the trip. It's okay. It's okay. Come with me. 
Oh, good recovery coming up. That is one questionable thing so far from Cooley. He's been going for those fourth row nares just for extra damage since Fair is inconsistent on DIN there. Yeah. But he keeps getting punished on hit for it. Oh, boy. Nice up smash right there. That's just the tech on the platform. I always forget that she got smash hit smash roll platform. Yeah. Because so many characters are just short. Exactly. Y'all ain't know diamonds are a girl's best friend. Shoot. If you didn't know that from playing Skullgirls, you learn it here from watching Sheik Dittos. Oh, absolutely. You play Skullgirl? Skullgirls is such a oh, good yeah. game. I just got into it. It's so good. Peacock all day. Oh, God. Let never mind. Think. Anyway. It's <laughs> no interest in that. Let's get back to Smash 4. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Your local parasol man who doesn't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Play, playing this uh, lame game. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. Lade is really starting to run over this next stock here. He's got an 80% lead here. Oh, good. Oh, Punishing. 82. Uh, oh. <laughs> I love when Sheiks use a needle to punish landings. Yeah. It's such a good option. Goodbye. And the 50-50. Not quite going to kill. Sheik can't kill. Uh, this is a common theme. But on the other hand, Sheik is so light that she dies all the time. Oh, oh he goes no. for down smash. Oh, all, these forward, all these smash attacks. You well, don't like see it, down smash very often. Well, you do see forward, air, uh, forward smash every now and then. Yeah. Oh, all the power shields. With rage, honestly, Kool-Aid could die. Give it, like, maybe... Give him to, like, 80. He'll probably die to up smash. Yeah, but that's obviously very right situational. Oh, oh my god! I thought he might go for it. <laughs> I would have gone for it all day. Come on, I'm trying to see a game three. Come on. Yeah, it is a great set so far. Come on, game three, game three. Late with a good roll right oh, there. No! Oh, trying to read air dodge. The thing is, rolling off of the ledge like that becomes a lot better when you haven't done it the whole set. Yeah. Oh, good tech coming great out tech from unknown. I love it. And he's just bouncing fishes to the other side of the stage. We're back to neutral. Cooley just bouncing no. fish raw. No. And no. the ma the no. almost max rage up here no. is gonna take it. No. Unknown takes down no. Kool-Aid. No, no, no. That's a scrub. That's a scrub off. Right so a great tech right there to stay alive. Just double jumps, bouncing fish over everything. And Lade just goes for it. And at 84, he that dies was, to a that grab. Was, that was a super scrub option. <laughs> I'm, I'm the bouncing fish. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I told you I'm here to criticize everybody on the mic. I'm gonna be real. That was a super scrub up. He got that off of a down air. I didn't even notice that at the time. He got down air tech chase up smash. You can't do scrub options against people who read your text with up smashes on platforms. That was clean. Not gonna lie. That was but really no. good. No, you gotta keep that play clean. That was actually That's very really unfair. impressive from unknown right there though. Just I, staying cool, staying alive in that situation. Honestly, Going for the forward throw, because there's so many DI mix-ups off of the throws for Sheik right there. Yeah, that was a super uncharacteristic uh, option coming off. It was, for sure. Yeah, like, Kool-Aid's such a clean that. player. I'm just like, wow. He, he will go for the things like that, but often the one he goes for is Vanish. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I've seen him go for, like, Vanish away in neutral, which is relatively safe. If you go to ledge. Uh, or even just, like, up be, like, back across the stage away from okay, them. Maybe it's, like, relatively hard to punish. Sheik might be able to bounce. Maybe the Sheik he did tried to go to ledge with that. That's possible.